What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Red City Boy 23 coming to you guys with another video today, baby. So, I apologize for yesterday, man. I seen the comment section. I was reading it. Um, Last night, I had got out the shower, and I was tired, but I wanted to give you guys a video to watch. And we were in a really good-ass Pro-Am game. I said, you know, I'm going to upload this. The video had audio in it, and there was slight, like, low music in the background because you guys know when I stream... I had Night by Running where you guys request your own music. And while I'm playing, you guys can listen to music just in case anyone doesn't feel like talking. They just want to watch the stream and listen to music, you know, and enjoy it. So I apologize for that. I didn't know that they were going to turn the audio off on me because I didn't think it was a big deal. But besides that, I want to get to the topic that a lot of people, it came yesterday in, my, uh, in conversation in my stream yesterday. And it was dropping people off, all right? And... I just want to say there's a difference between dropping people off now than how it was in 2K15, okay? Um, if anyone played 2K15 high rollers competitively, you know, you would know that, okay, this is how it was played, all right? If you were playing 2v2, all right, you had one guard going at the other guard, okay? There was no screens. It was just straight 1v1, you know, and that's what made 2K15 so lit. 2K15 was so lit because it was people going right at each other. There was no help. It was you and him. You know what I mean? And either you're getting clamped or you're killing him with moves. You know what I mean? Or uh, vice versa. Either way. Um, and then you had the centers where that's how we came up with, oh, he's a sna he'd be snagging or he's a horse because, you know, you'd pick up who you thought was a better rebounder who could horse or who could snag. And that's why people love 2K15 because it was straight competition, straight people going at each other. But you know, after a while, Patch 4 came out and then 2K fell off, um, 2K15 fell off because of the fact that everybody started hitting bullshit. You know, you've seen the, the amount of people at the high rollers increase. You've seen all these people who you never seen before all of a sudden at the high rollers. And we were like, what? How, Sway? Um, but then um, three on three, you know, three on three was even lit. You know, we had the you had the fifteen k, the twenty two k. Um, anyone who played like I myself, you know, you, they even had the forty five k up there, the thirty k, the twenty two point five. You know, and it was really lit. That was that was amazing. You know, but they took that down because you know, obviously people didn't have it. And eventually, they moved it down from seven thousand five hundred to fifteen to twenty two. But um, the thing is now when you play, you see people getting screened. And you see um, people saying you got to drop off. Like, oh, I dropped him off. But every single play, he's getting a screen and scoring. And the reason why people don't respect that in a way, you know, it's basketball. Don't get me wrong. It's basketball. You know, it's in the game. You play how you want to play. This is just an understanding coming from different people's views. All right. Um, it's a different perspective for everyone. Some people like it the 2K15 way. Some people like it the whole this way, the way it is now. You know, pro am pro am is different. You know, you're playing five v five, and every you run screens, you're gonna run everything because it's pro am. But now it's such a difference because, um, you know, when you're playing stage, you see people getting screened. You see people running a two center lineup. You see people on the twos with two twos. I meant two guards. Y'all know what I meant. But anyway, you get my point. Um, it was never played like this. You know what I mean? You never seen two people running two guards or people running three guards at the, you know, on the threes, you know, running three guards, you know, just to ease their way out the game. And that's where it came to the point where it was like, damn, you guys is running three guards. Like, what is this? You're running two centers. You know, it, it, it's the way it's played now, you know, so it's acceptable to people because it's like, that's how 2K used to be played. This is how it's played now. And me personally, I this is the purpose of my video. What do you guys like better? What did you like? Did you like the old way 2K used to be played? Where it was just you and him going straight at each other and you either getting clamped up or you either cooking? Or do you like the new way? Do you like the, the way that you like getting screens and calling people? Oh, you, you getting dropped off? Like me, I don't really respect the way. Okay, Pro-Am is understandable because that's, like I said, it's a whole different ball game. It's recreational ball. Straight 5v5. Stage is more of a, you know, street ball type shit. Um, a lot of people who play stage can't play Pro-Am. You know what I mean? It's just not their play type because it's a whole different ball game. So, you know, I, like I said, in my preference, I like going, I like going at someone, them going at me. You know, when you're sitting here trying to have a good one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone, it's not the same because, you know, you're getting screened. So when you're sitting there, say someone's getting locked up. Say I'm locking someone up for a whole shot clock. 
And then all of a sudden, um, his his center comes, sets a screen on me, and he he like does a move and scores. Oh, that's a kill. No, it's like you don't consider that a kill because you got you needed help to get out of that. That's a difference. You're getting help to you know it's making it easier for you. So that's why people don't always respect that way but let me know what you guys think what's the proper way what do you think is the best way um i'm streaming right after this so tune into my stream i'm gonna put the link in the description below like comment subscribe you already know lay lay your ass down you know if you can't find me that means your jump shot is broken